Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing something which we've not done in quite a while and that is featuring some uh, custom modded solar system objects. Now I've had these objects, um, they were given to me quite a while ago but I just never got around to doing them so today we're going to be changing that. So without further ado let's get into this. So first of all we need to head to the workshop area here and as you've already seen by the title we've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of good stuff here today. So we're going to be starting off with this here. So these are all made by Blab Planet Guy. Credit to him um, for sending these in for me to um, check out. So here we go. So we're starting off with this. Most realistic Jupiter. 15,000 bands. So that is a lot more than it used to have. I mean, I think the previous model was 4,000. So we've got 9,000 bands higher. And this is the end result. So what do you think of that? It looks good. Not going to lie. It looks great. Um, what we'll do as well is we just... Just a tad bit. And oh, all straight away, I've already noticed. It has blue at the top now. And if I remember from all the old models, no one ever actually put like the blue north and is it the south as well? Yeah, no one ever did the blue and the blue sort of north and south areas on Jupiter. Because yeah, they are slightly different to the rest of the planet's main sort of colours. So it's cool to see that those have um been added as well. But let, let's do what we normally do. Just to enjoy the Jupiter itself. We're gonna slow down at the rotation of it. If the menu opens, yeah, this uh, looks like it could take a while because it's got so many bands on it. So opening the menu, that's something you don't want to be doing uh, too much with this thing. So anyways, while that's opening, so this Jupiter has 15,000 uh, bands and uses a uh, technique I named band gradient. Okay, uh, this means each 10 in-game bands make up one pixel on the image I use. Damn. Yeah, because these are all photo, I think he based off like photorealistic images and stuff. So these are very, very in-depthly made. So bands are carefully calculated and often use base colours along with layering of bands to form the pixel colour. This took nearly 12 hours and 3 weeks. God, that is dedication. And is the most completed Jupiter I've ever made. It is very close to the band limit in Universe Sandbox. Okay, so this is like the maxed out, max stat Jupiter. I mean, you can't really make much more than this by the sounds of this. What we'll do is we'll put it to zero. Can I... There we go. That's a zero seconds. Pause. Right, let's see. Yeah, we don't want to open that menu again. So now we can speed it up and just enjoy... All the bands going around and i mean yeah we can see the red spot as well that's also going to be uh floating around in there oh the jupiter's actually moving no don't move no why is it why is it moving uh, what we'll do is we'll hold all velocities uh if i remember how to even do that because i don't want to have to open its menu again how do you uh it's over here isn't it uh, hold all velocities there you go right stop moving right there you go so now if we zoom in yeah okay there you go that's what we can do so now we can just zoom in take a look at all that oh yes that looks awesome See the red spot chilling down there as well, floating in the clouds. How cool is that? Like, oh, yeah. And actually, one thing we'll do is we'll check out the new feature as well. So at the top there, the blue north pole. This is... Or the blue north and south. We'll just look at the north. But, yeah, there you go. So it's finally... Jupiter, Mod the Jupiter's finally got its uh, blue north and south areas like it does in reality. So check that out. What do you think about that? The south does look pretty awesome. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So there we go. And what we'll do as well... We will compare it to the previous versions of the Jupiter. So we'll have, uh, obviously, the original stock Jupiter. God, that thing looks so bad now compared to these. Right, then we had this Jupiter here, which is um, one I've been using for a while, that one there. Then we also have this Jupiter. I think that was the 4000 previous model. And then we had uh, this one as well. So there you go. There's a full lineup of all the Jupiters in there. All of the modded Jupiters I've got copies of anyway. But I think that's the order they, sub they should be in here. So yeah, look at the evolution of the... Uh, or the modded Jupiter by Mad Planet guys. So yeah, check out all of this. Look at this. So we have the original one here. This one to me is still really, really good for its time. I'll see the original one. Yeah, not not too impressive these days compared to all these. So we had this one. Then we had these this one here, and then this one, which is slightly more color enhanced versions, as you can see. But then he sort of reverted back to the full realistic mode and came up with this. So very, very nice. But yeah, it looks like the blue areas are actually sort of remade from the previous model because looking at the previous model that does not look correct compared to this like you can see straight away that doesn't look right at all and then the the model before that as well still not looking correct i mean the the really old og version here this one had a you can see tiny bits of blue in it i guess but it's nothing compared to this so overall i think the best the best two are still these two for me personally i think those two are the best but yeah, there we go. So that is the 15,000 banded Jupiter. But before we uh, finish up, we've got a few more things to be checking out. So if I go ahead and open the menu once more, we're going to move from this object here. So this P Jupiter 2, that's what I've named it in my classification, just so we can find it. And now, Saturn, the first ever 
modded super band Saturn. That I know about anyway. Check this out. Now, I've always said for a long time, I didn't really think Saturn needed a modded version just because it was so... It, Saturn's always been quite bland, hasn't it? It's always been relatively the same colour. But Mad Planet Guy's gone out and done it anyway, and this is the result. So check it out. I mean, from a distance, I mean, that does look really good. It's also got its like bluish colours in the north and the south as well, like it does in reality. Very awesome stuff indeed there. I mean, comparing it to the Jupiter, I mean, it's like part of the set, isn't it? I mean, look at that. That goes really well. And actually, what we need to do as well is... So we can't have Saturn without rings. Let's, let's add the rings to this bad uh, this bad boy here. So, all right, uh, Saturn rings, of course. Thank you very much. Let's uh, put those in. There you are. Oh, yes. What do you think of that? So Saturn with its rings in all its glory. Check it out. That does look good. And actually, what we'll do as well, we'll do Jupiter. Close you off. Right. Saturn play. Oh, okay. Let's slow it down. So we can really enjoy all the stuff going on. So yeah, there you go. Saturn with its rings operational. What we can do as well is the planet is moving. It has velocity. Why does the planet have velocity? It's moving. Don't do that. Right, so what we'll do again. Can we open this one with any... No, it looks like these ones also have the issue of... Because it's got so many bands to calculate, it takes a while to open the darn thing. So rotational period off, speed off. There you are. Oh, the rings have all just flown off because the rings are still moving so all right let's just go ahead and add the uh, rings once more as well there you go right now we can let it speed up saturn isn't rotating anymore so now we can really enjoy all the bands flowing around in the uh, saturn saturn area here so look at all that so obviously it's a lot more bland than jupiter is like uh, saturn is in reality because remember these are all based off real images these modded objects so he's gone real in depth with the customization to get all the bands correct with like photo images probably from cassini and stuff like that for saturn but yeah there you go there is the ultimate modded saturn pretty much i mean what else could you do to make it better i mean it's it's done isn't it i mean what else could you do to improve it i mean i don't really know maybe maybe the blending i, I, I don't even know the north and south areas do poke out a bit but i mean that's the way they're supposed to be isn't it so well, i believe they are i haven't really looked at the image of north for saturn in quite a long time so i can't really just remember it off the top of my head but yeah, I think that looks really, really cool. So, there is the Saturn. Now, moving on, we also had the Uranus. Uh, just for comparison, we had the Uranus from the previous one of these videos I did. So, yeah, we had the uh, Jupiter, Saturn, and we had this Mega Uranus. I think that was actually the previous video in this sort of series. We checked out this uh, Uranus here. Yeah, this was in the thumbnail, wasn't it? Yeah, this was the uh, Mega Banded, or new Mega Banded Realistic Uranus video. So, that was the previous one in this playlist. But, yeah, there we go. So, we had that Uranus as comparison. Now, moving on. Next up, we have got this one here. A mighty modded Neptune. So look at this one. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's got all the shades of blue in there. The darker in the north and south areas. And it's got the real nice blue. So we do have a few versions of Neptune, actually, as well. Uh, which, which we can compare to here. But, yeah, check it out. I mean, oh, it's gorgeous. All the bands going on there. I think what we're going to have to do for this guy as well is we, just, we, just, we have to do it. Come on, we're gonna we're gonna zoom in and then really see those blue bands swirl around. So again, same issue with Neptune. Very very slow on the opening just because of the amount of bands it's got. So let's just put the all to zero. There you go. Click play. And now we can really watch all of these gorgeous blue bands going around. All these thousand mile per hour winds and all that stuff. Look at it go. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at it. And if we go up a bit, uh, zoom in out and then up slightly. Come on. Oh, let me up. Uh, readjust there you go so we can see this area here is very active look at all the bands spinning on there that does look pretty quick all the thousand mile per hour wind stuff there look at that breaking the speed of sound in the process that's really cool so if we have a look further up you can see all the bands still swirling around absolutely love it oh yes and then the north area as well looks gorgeous loving it so yeah all that swirling around there so that is the uh custom ultra neptune and then last off we've got a little extra as well we have a sedna quite an unexpected one um to be modded because also we don't know what sedna looks like in the first place yet but here it is check that out that does look good i mean compared to my uh re this this version of sedna's from like update 23 or something it's kind of ruined these days but yeah that's what i had before i mean look at that Compared to this, I mean, it's got craters, it's more reddish, I guess more of like a realistic sort of red compared to this dark and red and black I've got on that one. So yeah, what do you think of that? It's got some blue patches as well, which are quite interesting, but yeah, there you go. We've got a uh, 
sort of custom modded Seddon now, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, there we are there. But, yeah, just to recap, let's actually uh, go back to the Neptune quickly. Let's just compare it to some of its previous models. So we had the Q, I think Q Neptune was the previous, yeah, that, that was the previous one. We also had the Dark Spot Neptune there. And then um, the then we had my ultra re or my ultra unrealistic enhanced one as well. So there's the comparisons with the Neptunes. It will compare it to the OG Neptune as well. So there you go. I'll place it there. So look at the OG. Even the OG Neptune is way, way, way too much uh, blue compared to like the realistic sort of image of it. But one thing that one thing that I would propose possibly to do is the dark spot shade here or what in, makes us, makes it look like the dark spot this patch of negative i think it was like negative reflection or something in the modern files or something to do with the lighting i don't know but however you make the dark spot patch like this what would it look like on that i wonder maybe give that a go if, you've, if you're going to do more mad planet guy because i wonder how the dark spot would look on that could be quite interesting but yeah there we go it's up for you to do if you want to do it but yeah it's just a little recommendation if you want to make it look even more awesome well, hopefully anyway but yeah there we are so that is the neptune and all of its previous uh, counterparts but yeah let's just get a full lineup of all of these so we have a full collection full full collection of all ultra mega banded objects so we've also got jupiter saturn and we have good old uranus uh, this one here from the previous video and then now we have neptune so what do you think of that let's get them all lined up radius and there you go look at that so that is the ultimate modded banded collection of uh, gas giants from the outer solar system. I mean, look at that. I mean, you can see, even from a distance, you can see all the bands way, way, way more enhanced than the uh, normal objects. I mean, that is very, very impressive. I mean, the amount of time that must have gone into all these. I mean, didn't he say it was about 12 hours just for the Jupiter alone? I mean, look, there's three other planets here. So, in theory, this... I think all of these combined, I'd say... I mean, I know it took him three weeks, but I think he said he was working on it for 12 hours or something. So, if you round it all up to 12 hours for each object, that's... That's quite a lot. That's 48 hours worth of time estimate put into that. So, pretty insane stuff. And yeah, massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for uh, sending them in to me for me to uh, check them out in this video. I mean, I'll probably have to update my like custom solar systems and actually put these super enhanced versions in because these are awesome. So, there we are. What do you think of that? Looking awesome indeed. And then yeah, we also have the little uh, little Sedna as a little extra part of this pack as well. So, yeah, there you go, all the way down there looking gorgeous as well but yeah uh, with all that said and done guys a massive thank you for watching uh today's video and if you did make sure to hit that like button if you've got any feedback from our planet guy and his objects here let us know down below in the comments i'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say on these just mental absolutely mental realistic banded objects here i mean these are very very nice indeed and yeah according to what you said apparently that jupiter's like the maximum amount of bands or almost the maximum band count so can't really get much higher than that um, by the sounds of it so yeah awesome stuff indeed there and yeah massive thank you again for watching today's video if you liked it let's even go for 30 likes and also subscribe if you're new and help us on the journey to uh 19 000 subscribers guys as we're getting closer and closer by the day so a huge thank you to you all um for that and yeah soon it'll be the road to 20 finally i mean that is absolutely insane a huge thank you to you all um for that as well but yeah enough of me rambling on like i said Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you all have a great day as well, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.